माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर के सेल्वराज एम फॉर्म पी एच डी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर के एम सी कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी कोयमतूर टुडे इन फार्मास्यूटिक्स वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पोसालजी एंड द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग पोसालजी फर्स्ट वी मूव टू द डेफिनेशन फॉर पोसालजी पोसालजी इज द वर्ड विच इज डिरेवड फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड पोसस मीन्स हाउ मच एंड लॉज मीन्स द साइंस सो इट इज अ साइंस ऑफ डोसस नाउ वी मूव टू द फैक्टर्स विच अफेक्टिंग पोसालजी फर्स्ट फैक्टर इज एज the pediatric and geriatric patient required less dose compared to adult dose it is because the pediatric has there will be an undeveloped drug detoxification and the excretion mechanism there will be a undeveloped drug detoxifications and the excretion mechanism in the geriatric patient there will be a decline in renal and hepatic functions so that the dose calculation is very important for pediatric patient to calculate the dose we have two formula one is called as young's formula yeah, according to young's formula see the dose of the child is equal to age by age plus 12 into adult dose if you know the adult dose if you know the age then we can substitute all the things to this formula and we will get how much quantity of the drug molecule is required for the pay, for the child and one more formula for the uh, for the calculation of pediatric dose is dilling's formula according to dilling's formula the child dose is equal to age in years by 20 into adult dose the same way we can calculate the dose for the pediatric next factor the second factor the important factor is the body weight see the dose adjustment is very much required for lean and obese patient see in the what is the age what is the kg is considered to be an adult uh, uh, body weight is 70 kg is considered as a normal weight of adult to patient and the movement and the distribution of the drug molecule depends upon the proportion of the muscles and adipose tissues see if you are going to the hospitals the doctor they are checking what is your weight then they are calculating accordingly your dose adjustment so in the present trend to express the dose in terms of milligram per kg of body weight to that we have one formula the formula is called as clucks formula according to clucks formula the child dose is equal to weight of weight in pounds by 150 in adult dose now we move to the sex women are more susceptible to the effect of drug molecules so women require less dose see in the treatment with the sex hormones female adult <coughs> generally required smaller doses than the male dose adjustment is required during menstruation during pregnancy and during lactation see the forget is should be avoided in in pregnancy times and antihistamines morphine tetracycline should be can it should be taken given cautiously in breastfeeding mothers may affect the bo- bo- baby through the milk so in the case of pregnant woman as well as the nursing mother nourishing mother mother we should get the advices from the doctor then only we can take the drug molecules next we move to the next factor the factor is fourth one that is a pathological condition certain pathological condition is required and considerable for example the phenobarbitone sodium is completely excreted through the kidney only so in the case of kidney function uh, the patient is affected kidney function that patient we require less dose of the uh, phenobarbitone in the case of this is morphine it is completely metabolized in the liver so in liver diseases the morphine dose should be adjusted now we move to the fifth one the mode of drug administration as well as the sixth one is the time of drug administration see the mode the drug molecule may be given in the form of parenterals we require less dose in the case of the suppositories we require a little higher doses when compared to the normal doses see in the time of administration is very important see certain drug molecule for example peptic ulcer drugs are given in empty stomach certain drugs we should not take in empty stomach for example analgesic 
antipyretic should not be taken in empty stomach it will give a gastric irritation so that it sh we should avoid it should be taken only after meals uh, uh, only see in the case of synergism now the factor seventh is called as a synergism what is synergism you see when the combined a combined action of two or more drugs that is uh, re relatively more than that of the sum of the individual. For example, Burfan plus paracetamol, both are combined together, that is one drug plus another drug, the one plus one is equal to three. If it is given three, the result is what we call a synergistic effect. Here we required less dose comparatively the individual doses. Now we move to the antagonism, that is the eighth factor. What is antagonism? If one drug counteract the action of other drug when given in combination it is known as antagonism for example a combination of adrenaline it is a vasoconstrictor see with acetylcholine it's a vasodilator now the ninth one addition the important factor the addition addition is a condition when the patient that is continues to be under physic or and physical dependent and psychological and physical dependence on the drug molecule see here the drug is he is continuously taking for example continuous use of the alcohol continuous use of this opium continuous use of this cocaine heroin morphine pethidine and lsd the tendency to increase the dose they have the tendency to increase the dose this is an another important factors now we move to the 10th factor that is hypersensitivity or we can say it is allergic reactions see a patient suppose have an allergic or hypersensitivity he will be affected by anaphylaxis or fall in blood pressure a bronchial spasms see in the in the sign of peripheral shock here an injection of adrenaline is given to raise the blood pressure and the antihistamines should be given to the uh, counteract the histaminic effect and now we move to the certain terminologies now what is the terminology tolerance and tachyphylasis accumulation what is mean by tolerance this is a condition when an unusual large dose is required to produce an effect has been produced the normal doses for example tolerance is developed in the case of barbiturates in the treatment of epilepsy and a smoker tolerance the nicotine and the tachyphylasis this is the condition is observed after a drug is repeatedly consuming at small interval this is what we call as the tachyphylasis this type of drug behavior is called as tachyphylasis now the accumulation what is mean by accumulation accumulation is the drug in the body is the result of slow excretion and uh, that is uh, for example digitalis and amidine and heavy metals are slowly excreted through the uh, from the body that is what we call as accumulation so then another one is the idiosyncrasy idiosyncrasy this is the condition some persons may produce abnormal reaction to amount of standard drug this is unusual reaction for example small doses of c quinine uh, may causes ringing in air and uh, the small doses of aspirin may causes gastric hemorrhages and the last 15 to 1 habituration so addiction is a little different with that of habituation habituation is the condition when the patient continues to be under emotional and psychological dependence rather than compulsion for example tea coffee tobacco sieving petals nuts and the tranquilizers so the individual can carry in this work after such agents uh, are withdrawn there is no physical dependence hence the condition can be controlled and tackled so these are the 15 factors to be considered in pathological conditions okay uh, have a nice day i think this is very useful video for you have a nice day uh, thank you very much please like the video share the video and subscribe the video good luck